you know what? I was a hardcore no money spent player. My only purchase was going to be the purchase of the game. But then this weekend over Thanksgiving, something happened. Let me explain. Now, as a no money spent player, we took pride in being no money spent. We wore that as a badge, right? We would sometimes lose the terrible players with great teams. And in most cases, we're just gonna get blown out by a lot anyway when we face a person that's equally skilled. But at the end of the day, a no money spent player is always gonna come home with the victory because in August of the next year, all that money you put into Madden is just gone. You gotta start all, all over again. No money spent players had that victory at the end because they never spent anything. And at the end of the year, they're able to acquire all the players they want anyway, just not in the time that they need them to. Well, as a no money spent player, I'm actually participating in the MCS tournament. Now, as I'm looking at these deals, I saw the Blitzbucks promo. And that is when I was enticed by the dark side. If you only knew the power of the dark side. That is me over there before I joined the dark side. That's me. I was still pure and everything. If you look above, there's no points there. I was still that no money spent player. That was a turning point to which I can no longer come back. I don't know if my son will bring me back to the no money spent side, but let's play this video and you'll see the exact point to where I got enticed by the pack. Don't do it. It's, it's not too late. Stop it. I'm no longer that man anymore. As I went through, I chose an, an incredible pack. An incredible pack I chose right here. And as you see me on this side in a blue shirt, I'm going through. I see the players. I see the Michael Vick. I see the Mika Fitzpatrick. I see the Brees Hall. And I stream this live, by the way. And I see all the amazing things that can happen. If I just spent a little money, if I just spent a little money, no more struggles, no more losing to terrible players because they have a better team. No more. It ends today. I can end it. I can have the power. I can be that player. I can participate. If I go through, and even though my head is in the way, I go through, I see that blitz bundle. And that blitz bundle, was the first time I had ever purchased in Madden. 8,900 points, as you see, I go, yes. And you see the cost of it. I go over here, I'm looking, I'm like, man, should I get it? Should I get it? Should I do it? And you know what? I go out and I see my selection and I spend $99 on 12,000 points. And I got people encouraging me. As you see, you can see the, the chat to the right. The chat was encouraging me. Go, 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 go. There's that 12,000 point bundle. And this was the point where there was no return. I wasn't coming back. I wasn't coming back. And I'm talking through it. I'm trying to talk myself out of it. And that was when I crossed over to the 12,000 points. And I got that bundle. And boy, was that a good bundle. That was a good bundle. So I begin to open this bundle and look at all the most feared packs in here. I get the most feared, the champion elite. I'm guaranteed at least two 90s, two 92s or above, at least two. So I go through this pack, 77. First time I'm getting a pack. Open that one, 78. Open the next one, then pops in another 78. Next pack I open, another 78. I'm talking through this like, man, was it worth it? Then an 87 pops up. I'm like, oh, that's a win. That's a win. Then a 92 Julius Peppers. That's a win. 87 and a 92 on my first ever pack. Whoa. Got a 92 already, and 87. Like another 78. And then another 78. 
And at this point, I'm looking at this pack as a win because I got an 87 and a 92 in my first ever pack. And I still got more to go. That's amazing. So now I go to the second pack. I'm like, what does the second pack have in store for me? Then we open up. Get a 78. It was another 87. That's a win. It was a 74. And we open up again. There's another 78. I mean, there's 78 in me to death, but I'm getting the 87s. There's another 78. And so we open again, reveal. There's another one. And we're hoping, hey, can, can we get a 87 or above? There's another 87. Two 87s in that pack, even though it's the same one. Two 87s in that pack. That was a win. That was a win. I could sell those 87s. Big win. All right. So we got three 87s and a 92 so far. We're doing good. So we're going to go through. There's a 78 again. Letting this one open. There's another 78. There's another 72. We go through. Oh, there's an 87. And there's a 90. Look at this. We got our, another 90. A 90 Michael Thomas and an 87 Kirk Cousins. That is a win. So we're winning in these packs. N uh, oh, there we go. A 90 Debo Samuels. I am getting 90s in every pack. And there's an 87. Wow. So I got 90s and 87s. So far, we got like three 90s, four 87s. Man, we're doing good. That's 200,000 or 300,000 in points that we can sell for. Open this pack up. Let's see if we're going to get a 92. We got a 92 Josh Allen and an 87. This pack opening will win. I got in a row, I got three victories in a row off of packs. Now we get to open our Blitz Bucks which we can take these blitz bucks and we can go in and get our 93 uh, overall player, either Brees Hall or Mika Fitzpatrick. So, you know, I got the blitz bucks there. And so, so far we're doing good. Now we still have our pro elite bundle to open. So we go through the pro elite bundle and let's see what we have in there. Then we still get our two overall champions. So we're gonna go through the um, pro elite pack. And what do we get here? Okay, got 85, not a win there. Okay, I can sell for a little bit. Can we open up our, uh, another Pro Elite pack? Got an 88, Aaron Donald, not bad, 88, that's a win. I'll take that's a win, 88, I can sell him, he's sellable. And so now we get to our 93 overall fantasy. I get to pick one of these 93 overalls. Look at the all of 93, I get a choice of one. I'm like a kid in a candy store. I've never had this as a no money spent player. Never had these options. So you had to wait to accumulate money through grinding out the game. This was no grinding. This was instantly. My team instantly got better by at least six high elite players. And so I'm not gonna make my choice right then and there, but I'll tell you, I made. Uh, I chose to get uh, Mike Wallace. And so that was a good bundle. Now we open up our fantasy bundle and we could choose another 92 overall player and so look at that so folks this is how i was able to build the foundation that my team sits on today this bliss bundle is going to take me to another level in madden so the next day i was drunk with power i decided to do it again so i purchased another 99 dollars in points and got the elite bundle and I started opening this one up and look at all these elite bundles that I'm going to get so I'm excited to see what I get in here and my expectations are hey if I get a few 90s here um, I'm good and uh, this is going to guarantee me some 90s so open up the first one and as I open it up okay we get the 73s we get all this good animation get more and if you guys are looking Look how much coins I have from the stuff I sold. 1.5 million coins. That's from what I sold. There's an Art Monk 87. That's a win right there. Dave Thomas 85. So pretty decent. 
pretty decent. So I got an art monk, which I know I can sell. And this is how you get the coins to buy the players that you want. And I got an 88 Jeremy Shockey, which I can definitely sell as well. So then we go to the Harvest Blitz Legends bundle. Again, open it up here. And I move kind of fast, so I'll probably have to uh, just kind of talk real fast. So I got the 86 Rod Woodson, very sellable. I got the uh, another 74, another 75, a 90 Joe Thomas, an 87 Anthony Moons. So, and Munoz. So that's a win. That's another win. Oh my goodness. It's, it's just, this is going to make my team good. Then there's the AKA bundle. So I get the Steve Aaron McNair in 84. I get an Austin. I get a two Darren Whitsons, two 88 Darren Whitsons, an 87 Marilyn Olsen. So with the two 88 Darren Whitsons, I have almost what I need to get a pack. So I got an 88 Darren Whitson, Marilyn Olsen. Did you see those? So I got an 89. Uh, Lester Hayes, 87, Jim Taylor. And we're going to skip to those, uh, those little insignificant 82s. And a, a 94 Darren Whitson that sold that could sell for 900,000 coins alone. I have the, I have three or two of the pieces of the Darren Whitson set. So this was a foundation that allowed me to build what I consider the ultimate team or my God spot. Then I get my pick of the 93 overall legends champion. So as you see, I go through these legend champions and I get to add another 93. So I got a 94, I'm gonna add a 93 and uh, I get a pick between one of those, which is great. And so um, I'm gonna pick Jeff Saturday cause it's gonna be my center and uh, that'll help me with the run game. So, I make my choice of Jeff Saturday, and I got somebody on my stream encouraging me. And now I'm still not done. I go in, and what's coming up next is the Harvest Elite Bundle. I get a 93 overall champion in that. So look at this. I got a choice between a Lawrence Taylor, a Redux, wow, killer. Or I can choose a Robert Griffin III. 93 or I could also choose in that harvest bundle a Jeremy Chen and I choose Lawrence Taylor and that was the foundation that took me from an average team to a above average team and so let me show you what I have now because of all of this so what did $200 get me well between selling the cards that I could sell and getting the cars that I wanted. This is now the God Squad I have. I am one proud owner of a God Squad. <laughs> Let's go through and we'll show you what we got and we'll do another video, video about the abilities. So if we scroll through here, folks, we have a, a, a great squad. I mean, we, we got a, a killer line and some of this line that I have was just playing through the game. So again, as a no money spent player, I already had uh, John Runyon and uh, I did the turducken to get him and I already was able to get um, uh, Kevin right here, uh, Kevin Zeller as well. And Tristan Wiff was the person I got just through um, playing through the game. This is a harvest fest. But the players that I acquired and added were just very significant. I greatly improved that left tackle with Trent Williams. And you're probably wondering why my line is boosted. There's a little strategy that I'm that I'm using there. And if we get enough subscribers, I'll share with you that strategy. But it boosts my offensive line out of control. So I got Trent Williams at a 93. I got a 90, uh, 91 overall John Runyon. I got a 94 Jeff Saturday with the boost. 91, 91. And I got my tight end at George Kittle. So good up front protection. Uh, the way I run my offense, I don't really need a fullback. So fullbacks are not going to do do me any good. So uh, no need for that. But then I got, uh, you know, the Steve Smith, 94 overall. And again, fullback doesn't matter. Jeremy Shock is there. Got the Aaron Rodgers and got him uh, 8 AP on him. Got Brees Hall. Got Cooper Cup and Randy Moss. Now, I had Mike Wallace. People will ask, well, why would you sell Mike Wallace and get Cooper Cup? Well, Cooper Cup gets 
short and elite for zero AP. And we'll cover the, the AP and the strategy in another video. We go on defense. Oh my God, I feel sorry for who I play. This defense is sick. Now, there's a weakness at cornerback, but I anticipate on getting Deion Sanders. And I do anticipate on either getting Patrick Peterson or another league cornerback on that side. But other than that, these guys are very serviceable. But if you look at the front four that you got approaching you, you look at that front four. We have a 94 overall Aaron Donald, which I got a boost on that. I'll have to share with you in another video. And again, once I get more subscribers, I'll share with you the boost I added. We got a 93 William Perry. We got a Solomon Thomas at 92. We got a 93 Julius Pepper. We're going to get some good front four pressure. I run a package that includes a front four. But look at these linebackers here. We have Khalil Mack, Bobby Wagner, Brian Erlacher, and Lawrence Taylor. That front seven is deadly. That is a deadly front seven. You're not going to have much time. <laughs> and I and I keep Erlacher and Lawrence Taylor involved in all the packages. Then we have Mika Fitzpatrick. And then last but not least, we ended it up top with uh, Adrian Wilson, who is, uh, in my opinion, uh, even though uh, Darren Woodson is great, Adrian Wilson just had some in had some stats that just out of this world. Without any abilities, he's just sick. And so then we finish out our corners at uh, at uh, Jair Alexander, which is decent at a 90. And then we have uh, Revis Island, which is still serviceable, really, really good corner. And then we have Rasul Douglas. And then as our backup uh, safeties, we got Eddie Jackson, who's very, very good. And we round it out with Bam Bam Cam at the bottom, who is a player that I got for free anyways, a BND player. So got got uh, Cam Chancellor, and uh, again, he's behind Adrian Wilson. So this defense is going to be tough to contend with. And as you see, folks, if I stayed and no money spent, I wouldn't have a squad like this. I'll still be struggling with the squad that was uh, like in the low 80s. But now, as a no money, as a some money spent player, I'm going to go SMS. I am some money spent for two hundred dollars, and this is all I'm ever going to spend. I'm not going to spend any more ever, because once you buy the cards one time, and you got the players one time, when we upgrade, I could sell the players on this team on both sides of the ball and still get probably about maybe if I were to say in Madden what this team is worth right now in Madden coins on both sides of the ball of what I could sell. Do the math and add up what this team would cost. Uh, and Madden bucks, but all I know is that it only cost me 200 bucks. And I know people that spend thousands on this game, but for $200, that's a some money spent player. I'm not going to spend any more the rest of the year because I have assets to sell now. So that's what it's all about. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you're thinking about transitioning from a no money spent player to a some money spent player, this was the time to do it. And this again built the foundation for my gameplay. I'm ready to take this team into the MCS tournament and see what type of damage we can do. Thank you folks, make sure you subscribe to this channel, make sure you click the link below, I will be choosing a winner, and that winner will get a free gift. And again, uh, there is a link below that you can follow me on my Twitch, you can follow me on Facebook, you can follow me on YouTube, and you can also get some merch if you want to, make a donation, and be eligible to win prizes. I'm gonna be doing giveaways a lot in December, I just did one on my Twitch channel, uh, we gave away a free copy of Madden, so again, um, We'll tell you how to be eligible. You just go to our page and it'll tell you all about how to be eligible to win prizes. Thank you, folks. Have a great day. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.